What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Sonora Design and guess what? Today is going to be the best day ever because we're making elegant speakers for your living room. Alright guys, so today we're making elegant speakers to play in your living room. I always wanted to have kind of like a casual listening speaker slash reference speakers. I'm not saying we're going to spend thousands of dollars because you guys know already that we can achieve very good results with a lower cost. So according to our plan, we are going to make high fidelity speakers. At the same time, they should be handsome, elegant, beautiful. We're aiming to a wide spectrum of frequencies, meaning I want them to reproduce low bass. I would say we want to get at least to 40, 45 hertz. So that's the goal. Our concept is a hi-fi compact elegant speakers that would be able to play low frequencies for casual listening slash reference. <laughs> but the thing is like trying to keep the curve, the frequency response consistent, kind of a flat response, kind of doesn't mean it has to be flat. We're not aiming to a flat response, but we're aiming to a curve with not much variation, no peaks, no drops. So a casual listening reference. I don't know if you guys get it. That's what we're going to try to do today. The thing is that I have a bunch of crap here in my closet and every time I go there I have a new idea because I have like all kinds of drivers and amplifiers, board, Bluetooth, tweeters and crossover components. So I came across those drivers which are the reference series 7 inch woofer from Dayton Audio. Okay, the RS-180 4. I had that sitting there for a while. I don't remember why did I get it, but it's time to use it. So that's why our enclosure is going to be a casual listening slash reference, because we are going to use reference drivers for this build. All right, guys, here we are. So I'm going to show you how to select drivers or how do I select my drivers, even though they're pre-selected. But how did we get there? All right, so first thing, it's important to know we are making like a enclosure that should perform well from 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So what do we need? We need a large driver on the front. So that's why we're using the seven inch reference series from Dayton RS-180. What happens is that it's usually good to match them. Okay, so if you're buying a woofer and tweeter, they should match. Match meaning they don't have to be from the same series, the same brand, or they gotta at least have like a frequency response that's gonna intersect at some point. You're gonna need a crossover. But for now, let's select our drivers. Okay, we are on Parts Express. We're going to go to our woofer here. We have a reference woofer. Uh, ba -ba -ba, you can read everything, all the information. You have pictures, details. It's a beautiful driver. I got to say that. So our enclosure is going to be handsome and elegant. We have the specifications here. It's 60 watts, power handling, RMS, 120 max, 4 ohms. It plays from 39 hertz to 36. 600, meaning 3.6 kilohertz. It's good enough. Let's check the teal in small parameters because that tells us a lot. So we have a resonant frequency, free air resonant frequency of 38.4. We have a VAS of 0.75 cubic feet. I don't know how much that is, but it's about like 25 liters. Let's check it out. Okay, it's 21 liters, meaning it's a large enclosure. So we're not making compact bookshelves. 
because we have to think about what we want the most. I want low frequencies the most. Let's keep going. But I just gotta say that important things are here. We have manual and resources, but they suggest the enclosure here. We wanna have a vented design. So the vented volume would be one cubic feet, which is around 28 liters, hopefully. Let's see, 28 liters. So I have 28 liters for an F3 of 33 Hertz. It's a big enclosure. It might get even bigger in the process. We don't know yet. We're gonna get all this information and go to our enclosure calculator later. We have here all the tweeters from Dayton Audio, which is a Parts Express brand. We have the Silk Dome tweeter. We have the Reference Series Fabric Dome tweeter for ohms. I think that's the one we're looking for. Cause as I told you, we have a reference woofer. We have a reference tweeter. We just make a reference crossover and then we have a reference speaker, right? <laughs> it's so easy. Okay guys, we got a tweeter. We have the reference series fabric dome tweeter for ohms. Model RST28F. Okay, one and one eighth. Mm, it's large. It's a silk dome reference series tweeter. Has a remarkable clarity, low free air resonance, exceptional efficiency and smooth frequency response. We want that. We love smooth frequency response, right? Okay, guys, let's keep going. We have a soft dome, 80 watts, 4 ohms, frequency response. That's important, okay? If our woofer plays from, what was that? 40 to 3.6 kilohertz, and our Twitter plays from 1.4 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz, they are gonna intersect. That's great. That's where we're going to apply our crossover. We are going to go to the manuals and resources. What do we have? We have FRD and ZMA data file. We're going to use that again in our crossover design. Data sheet. Okay. Let's go to our teal and small parameters. We have all the information we need and we have the curve. Guess what? They're going to cross. This is intersection. Kind of 1 kilohertz to 3 0.6 kilohertz. That's where the tweeter and the woofer are gonna meet. We have a good response and it's a reference tweeter. So those are our drivers and let's keep moving. We are gonna start sketching. So let's move on. guys we got here some sketches so that's the first one the main idea which i think i'm gonna make this one it has like those side pieces can be either uh, plywood or hardwood but i want to keep it like natural wood so it, if it's plywood it will be veneered with walnut and if it's hardwood it's gonna be walnut the box would be painted in black that's the idea for now, because they gotta be elegant. Black with walnut looks elegant to me. I really like it, and I think it's gonna look handsome and elegante. Okay, let's keep moving with our elegante speaker. guys we got some sketches we're gonna go with this one okay so as you guys can read or not because it doesn't focus front view port crossover okay that's how it's gonna look we're gonna do the sides with walnut plywood let's get a sheet of walnut the center piece here is gonna be made with MDF and we're gonna paint it black mm, like matte black it's gonna look amazing and elegant.
All right, guys. So, guess what? We are gonna get the measurements for the box. The thing is, I was on base box and win ISD trying to get it right. Graphs on base box are too small. I can't see the details. Win ISD works better, so it has more like um, resources, more uh, features, whatever. I was comparing and I got to this. And I have here two boxes, a very large one, 37 liters, and I have another one with 30 liters. I don't know, but I'll go with the smaller one. So we're going to try and get at least 30 liters, maybe 32. It's a long port. It's going to be tuned to 32 hertz. According to the software, we are going to have an F3 at around, I don't remember, maybe 37 hertz? Is that possible? Mm. So the thing is, we're gonna start sketching the box, getting the measurements and start cutting the wood. Let's do it. We're gonna get it right at some point. Okay, so I'm gonna sketch it real quick, get some measurements and see what we have. We got a quick box here for, I don't know, the proportions. It might be all wrong. That's our box. Let's put some measurements and see how much volume we get. We have this as a reference. Let's get a measuring tape. Measuring tape, measuring tape. Calculator. Okay, this is 18 and a quarter inches high. Our speaker is probably gonna go close to 27 and a half which is 70 centimeters. Let's try that. Let's start with 70. I might have to have like a tall, tall box. I don't know, 70 might be too much. I think I'm exaggerating because I'm scared. The box is too big. Oh, uh, we got 70. So the driver is, let's say 18.1 centimeters. That would be seven inches and one eighth. We got, let's say 18 centimeters wide. Plus 18 millimeters each side because of the material. We want three quarter inch uh, pieces of MDF on the sides. That would be, 18, let's say 18.2 plus 1.8, 21.8. That, that, that. Wow. Let's try 40. That would be 16 inches. Okay, let's multiply all of that and see what happens. Fingers crossed. Guys, we got 43.8 liters. We can make it a little smaller. If we go to 58, just a minute. 35 minus 3.6. All right, I think we got it. Let's get it all ready and cut the wood. Let's do it. <laughs> guys we got our box ready to glue we are gonna assemble the box right now glue one side of it so we can work on the inside and and then glue it tomorrow again so let's get ready i'm gonna use the nail gun we're gonna prime the enclosure and paint it uh the nails are not gonna show because we're gonna patch them all okay let's do it good luck good luck for me thank you
got it. Let's wait now. All right, guys. Let's see what happened overnight. I think we got our box. Okay, corn. Mmm. Hey, we still have some glue here. Aye, aye, aye. Looks pretty good. Let's work on the inside now. But I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. So I have some room here for our internals. Let's start with our damping material. This is called, um, I forgot again. Okay, we are using the Sonic Barrier. I think it's like three quarter inch. It has a PSA layer. Let's see, I guess it's gonna work. I like it and it's looking good. Wow. <laughs> got a box. Let's open it. The tweeters arrived today. I'm impressed. All right, we got the tweeters. Let's see it. Wow. Look at that. They look so pretty. I bet they sound good too. Let's see. Okay, done. We have the box here. That's the enclosure we have for now. That's the port. We are gonna have our connectors here, drivers here. The crossover can be attached here. Okay, so we're gonna glue the top and get ready to test the speakers tomorrow. guys let's wait a little bit like 24 hours enjoy the process all right guys let's remove the clamps guys remember clamps clamps are always a great investment I love clamps and I have nothing to do I just buy clamps it's a great hedge against inflation too Good investment, I'd say. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, guys. We got our speakers here, okay? Uh, here in the back. We have no access to the bottom, so I might make a plate here. But for now, the box is ready. And I'm happy.
So we got our boxes, port, woofer, tweeter. Can you guys see it? It's a little too big, it's a little too heavy. Okay, it fits and it's flush. Wow, the ports are already sounding. It's impressive. Let's see what happens next. Good luck for me and for you. Alright guys, the veneer is ready, I mean, it's glued, ready to wait. So, I'm gonna clean this mess and hopefully the sheets are not gonna glue on each other because I forgot to put the wax paper, okay? Cross our fingers, cause it's looking good.
Guys, uh, it's heavy. Oh, oh, I think we got it. Uh, we got the side panels. We get a finish now. I mean, apply the finish and put our drivers in. All right, guys. We have the Elegante. It's ready, ready for the drivers to pop in. Let's do it. guys so I'm a little embarrassed it's too much elegance for me I guess they're ready and I think they're gonna look beautiful in my living room or your living room or any living room all right guys well this is Axim and we are gonna start the crossovers for the Elegante <laughs> got it's kind of pretty flat response we got 30 with 1 millihenry we have 0 0.6 with 6.8 and we have a 7.5 resistor for our tweeter okay okay done all right guys we got it speakers are ready and we're gonna listen to them promise I'm not gonna dance <laughs> let's play something I don't believe it. Alright guys, we got it. Speakers are ready and it sounds great. So I think mission accomplished. Mm, I gotta say for 200 bucks reference drivers, it sounds pretty good. Alright guys, so guess what? I couldn't finish the video without the last curve, right? Because we like measuring speakers forever. Uh, okay, so you guys got the curves already inside of the garage, which is pretty cool. We got to our goal. Casual listening, super bass, powerful, reference speaker. And guess what? It's so elegant and dapper and informal and spectacular and confidential. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to show you uh, what I got outside. What's up, guys? We're going to take more curves. Okay. So, the last one was this average we had here. 
if we get an average here, we have a variation like 79, okay, 2, 82, so we have like 3 dB, and we have another like 2 dB down, okay, so we have like 77, 82, we have like, kind of like minus 3, plus 3 decibels, which is great, I love the curve, and the, the drivers are not even like broken, they might need like a few more days playing non-stop in the garage in the heat during the whole day and the whole night they gotta be tough <laughs> all right that's the curve and i got the result here i'm gonna show you right now uh okay we gotta put those curve this curve together align spl okay uh what's that 2k 1.5k Six. Okay, let's see. All right, that's the one meter outside. The thing is, we're aiming to 40, 45 hertz, and we got it, okay? Outside, which is cool, because then inside the living room, inside of the garage, we already have more uh, bass. We got like 30, kind of like 30 hertz here, playing inside of the garage. That's what we have. I'm very happy. I want to listen to those all the time. I want to watch Matrix on it. No subwoofer in the next video because you know those videos never end right so we might tune those crossovers further we can get like a better like a flat mid mid response here we can uh tune the crossovers a little bit and get this curve a little even even more flat thank you guys let's move on those are the elegante speakers i think we got a good result and I would like to say thank you for all of you guys that had subscribed to the channel this past month. All the comments, you know, I tried to read them all. You know, I learned a lot with you guys. I hope you guys are learning something here or at least having fun. I'm super grateful for all your participation. I would ask you guys to smash the like button right now and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna post all the information on the link down below so you guys can make the same speakers if you want. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.